Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Seth Williams, and uh, I wanted to record another conversation here with Alicia of Supercharged Offers. You might remember Alicia from episode 92 of the RE Tipster podcast, uh, where we talked all about how she and her partner Matt have figured out how to invest in U.S. real estate from Australia. It was a great episode. Go check it out if you haven't already. But I wanted to record another conversation with her because... Um, as I've learned more about what she does, uh, I realized that uh, she and Matt are actually like digital marketing and branding experts. They're like really good at it. And uh, they really know this stuff. Uh, they run this company called Supercharged Offers, as I mentioned. And uh, it kind of originated out of their work as real estate investors. And I thought it was worth mentioning here more about what they do, because I think it's kind of relevant to a lot of people out there in the real estate trade. Um so, you know, Alicia, I know a bit about supercharged offers now, but for people who are listening or watching right now who are not familiar, what is supercharged offers and how did this come about? Great question, Seth. And, uh, and thank you for uh, encouraging us to have another interview with you. I think it's really awesome to get this message out there. So supercharged offers, um, as you mentioned, it's, uh, it's not something that everybody knows about yet, but it was a bit of an accidental business. So you just highlighted that we are real estate investors based in Australia, but investing all throughout the United States. And we needed to really look at how we were running our business and our entire acquisition model. So there's really some quite archaic practices that, that people get taught to, to do real estate, you know, go and download your list and get a basic website and all these things. And we were thinking to ourselves, you know, surely there's a, a better way to do this business. So we asked ourselves two questions. Our first question was when we were looking at our own business, well, how can we do our business better? Uh, we're all about efficiency, particularly because we're in a different country, so efficiency is time as well. And the second thing is, how can we stand out from our competition? There's lots of people now, particularly in the single family home market, very competitive. So how can we use marketing to really stand out and hence, supercharged office was born. So in essence, we created this business to make our own business better. And then we just showed it to a few friends, which led to, hey, can you do that for me? Um, and, uh, and that's now led 12 months on to us having a, a really thriving business with some fantastic clients on board and, and us as real estate professionals, helping other real estate professionals, be that wholesalers, investors, fix and flippers, you name it, helping them to do their business better. So it's been a pretty exciting journey so far. Yeah, it's one of those things, um, I know this whole online digital marketing aspect of the business, a lot of real estate investors, like they kind of have the deal doing aspect down, like they understand the mechanics of it, like they're surviving, like they know how to do it, but there's like this big missing piece of the online marketing and branding and I don't even know if they realize it, but it sort of leaves like this big hole in their overall marketing efforts that, I don't know, like if that was filled or better tended to, it seems like it could help them out a lot, right? Couldn't agree more, Seth. And, and the other thing that I think we need to consider these days is the type of customer that we're dealing with has also changed. So, you know, traditionally when people get taught how to do real estate investing, it's grab a list, do your mailings, and we still do all of that. Um, but then... We, we kind of look at the shift in the market where previously, you know, even two years ago when we were, um, you know, we've been doing this now for just on three and a half, but two years ago that we were still dealing with a lot of maybe older generation where they would get direct mail and respond back. I'm seeing now a shift in our customer base where you're right, that big hole that is left that people are often now dealing with us online where they never used to. So putting in requests for offers online, contacting us through different mediums, through you know Facebook ads, et cetera. So I think we need to also be aware that that marketing, that, that hole that you mentioned, we're leaving deals on the table if we don't catch up in the digital world. So what exactly does supercharged offers do? Like yeah, rather than uh, rather than just tell you and talk, is it okay if I if I show a couple of things through? Um, I kind of walk you through a bit of a scenario of, of what we build. Definitely, that that would be awesome. Let me just share my screen. Let me start, Seth, by walking you through what our customer journey looks like end to end. Now there is a lot to cover here, so bear with me. But I know in one of our previous conversations, you were asking, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into supercharged offers that I'm about to share. 
Um, how do you bring it all together? And to answer that first question is with a kickstart guide, which is basically another word for a total business plan. So we do quite a lot of consulting with our customers to take them through anything and everything to do with their entire business plan, but more importantly, the marketing behind that. So this guide is about getting them to look at their target market, how they differentiate, what they're willing to do in their business, expanding their business thinking, et cetera, um, and really talking about outcomes. So where we go to with the guide is the customer fills this in first, Seth. Uh, so I can just start with the first area, which is their target market. So they need to know who they're going after and which asset class that is. We can do any asset class. So the target market could be landowners, multifamily, um, mobile homes, you name it, and really looking at the areas that they want you to target. Then it's about who in those areas, so their customer, and, and what is the, the typical persona of those customers so that we can build that in to the marketing messaging. Really knowing the pain points of our customers and how we solve them is really part of what good marketing is all about. From the customer, we go down into things like what's their value proposition, which a lot of people haven't thought of. We go into their business goals. The reason why that's so important is let's just say that someone is currently doing two deals a month and they want to increase their deals to six deals a month. Well, that's fantastic, but that comes with a new set of positive problems. So we want to make sure that they've thought through things like their systems, their support, um, how they go about scaling, uh, what they do to you know really get ready for that. Then we go and look at uh, back to the customer. What is it that they're guaranteeing to, the, to their customers that others won't? what some of their freebies that they would offer and we help to build that for them. So things like an ebook, a listicle, um, you know, something that's downloadable, an interview, things like that that are really useful. And then we get them to do some competitor analysis, uh, which again, a lot, a lot of people don't take the time to do. And we can also do a keyword research into how their competitor sites are ranking and what we can do to make theirs uh, even better getting some testimonials, getting their logo done, their brand colors, you know, basic 101 marketing stuff that a lot of people don't really stop to think about the impact of current social media, you name it, it's all in here. So they go through, first of all, and fill out this tactical guide. We then have a consulting call with them to go through that guide. What that consulting call then builds, Seth, first of all, we start off with their page. So this is um, the Land Scouts page that I showed you before. Uh, and we build out all of the content for them. We build out what sits behind this page as well. So if there's things like interviews or listicles or eBooks. So this one, for example, if I just scroll down, we've got an interview on here, which is bonus one. We've got bonus two, which is a mobile notary. And bonus three is an eBook, which we had professionally written um, and, and we give out to our customers as well. So we build all of this form out. Now, first and foremost, we also build out what's called a pop-up. So a pop-up is for people who maybe aren't ready. And this comes up on all of our pages, which is about email capture. So I'll just put in my personal email here. And I'm about to show you what happens in the back end. But whilst this, um, this goes through, this then takes me to a thank you page, which again, we build all of the integration for them. Uh, they can watch the video from here. They can download the book from here. And they can also, as I showed you before, book some time with us as well so that we can um, further nurture based upon how the customer wants to do business. They can schedule a call with our team, as we mentioned. They can go straight to us here on Facebook. Um, and just to go over to Facebook for a moment, again, all of this built for them. So the Facebook page itself, we do a professional video we know that Facebook loves video. <laughs> so uh, this is the type of video that we produce for our customers so that they can actually have some really good video promotion. And this is just on loop. Um, so it keeps going on our site. So you'll start to see a few things pop up here with that. So really professionally done. Um, this is for our business targeting mainly Florida. Uh, which is part of our business offering. We then also do a number of posts for them as well. I'll just scroll down to where the posts are. So the posts are all professionally uh, designed and branded posts where we've got content written for them and all the appropriate hashtags written for them as well. And we do anywhere between seven and 30 posts for each of our campaigns, depending upon the level of, uh, of campaign that that person is at. So you'll see here, they all look great. 
it all matches our branding um, beautifully. Their posts as well, Seth, so I can download and use these on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on a whole bunch of other areas to really, you know, shine the, the brand wherever I want it. So you can literally just save the image um, and use those images wherever you want. Uh, but what we suggest for people to do is obviously like and share and get that out there. So that's um, a whole bunch of stuff. And I know one of your questions uh, a little while ago, Seth, was, you know, wait, you do everything? And I say, yes, we do everything. <laughs> all that the customer needs to do is, first of all, have the consulting call with us. Second of all, we go through a process of approving their content. Third, we then go to design and they have a call with us about design. And then their fourth call with us is a go live, uh, which we actually launch everything and show them all of their assets, just like I'm showing you now. But if I just close down the, um, the Facebook page and go back to the the thank you page so the thank you page i submitted a form here and it's come through to my email so this is just the the first basic form that says hey because i didn't provide a name remember it was just my email thanks for visiting us at landscouts your exclusive bonuses are here so i can go straight into the ebook from here you'll see the ebook it's 14 pages long very professionally written looks fantastic lots of really useful information for our sellers about what to do if they're considering selling their land. So this is all written for our customers and we've written eBooks on loads of different topics. We have a professional writing team that sits behind us. You name it, if there's a topic and there's research on it, we will get it done. And the other thing that they can do is go straight into our, our video on Vimeo and watch the, the interview direct from here as well um, on the taxation expertise. So that's fantastic. So that's the first email sequence and from here, this email sequence can take us back to the, the landing page. And this particular email sequence will run for about 10 days. And that email sequence is about nurturing people that only gave their email address. But what about people that, uh, if I just go back a page, what about people that actually want an offer? So on our page, you'll see that there's a number of what we call calls to action, where it says claim bonuses and get cash offer. And from here, they can actually put in their full name. Now, normally for a lot of our other customers, Seth, we also have their uh, property details down here. So we ask for APN address and county. We prefer in our business not to do that because we actually get our team to pick up the phone and call people. Um, and in that way, we can find out a little bit more about their motivation, what they're considering doing with the land and, and how we can help them. So now I fill out the full form and this takes me to a different thank you page. So this thank you page has a different messaging because it's like saying, congratulations on taking action. Um, you know, you, you wanna get an offer, which is fantastic. So what we will do from here with this one, uh, the messaging in here is different, is we will be in touch with you in about 48 hours to discuss your vacant land. We'll then do some due diligence. You'll get an email from us with the, uh, the ebook. Make sure you check your spam folder. Um, and we'll be in touch with an offer. And what you can do next, again, go to Facebook, book a time with our team, all of those different things we do to nurture. So that goes to a separate thank you page. Now, if I can just, uh, I'll just stop sharing and see if the email has come through for that. I think it has actually. Yep, there we go. So here's the, uh, the other email sequence, which is thank you for submitting your details. We appreciate you stopping by. From here, we'll take a look at your property, We'll be in touch to assess the potential value and we'll send you a quote. Uh, we like to use the word quote because it's less spammy. <laughs> and don't forget about your bonuses um, that you can download here and watch. So all of these emails are professionally written. There's a whole email sequence that sits behind the website that we build out for every single customer. So there's lots in there. But the final thing I wanna show you, Seth, if I can just go to our dashboard, this is where I think you and I have spoken about this before with what I call the hope and pray method, which is I'm going to send out some mail and I hope that it gets to the right person and I pray that they call me back. Um, now, that's just wishful thinking. What we prefer to do is do some really good analysis on um, what's happening with, uh, with our, our marketing. So this is our Land Scouts dashboard. See here that um, so far since uh, June of last year, we've sent out 62,746 mail pieces over 16 weeks of mailing. 
our ads have been displayed just under one point, uh, let's just call it rounded up, 1.5 million times our ads have been displayed. Just over 10,000 people have engaged with those ads and 1,600 have clicked through to our site. And that has generated just over 2,200 more leads, which are not in the list that we mailed to. So that's a really important distinction. These are new people getting to our site that we haven't targeted. The other thing that we can do in here, uh, Seth, that's really, really useful, is a couple of things in here that I like to make sure that our customers use to nurture their leads. The first one is mail tracking. So if I can click into mail tracking here, or I can click into it over here on the side. And what you'll see, this is our latest mail piece that is still being delivered. But let me just scroll down and, uh, and go to our most recent mailings. Just takes a little while to load because there's lots of records in here. As you can see, we've done over 65,000 in, uh, in less than, uh, well, less than like nine months. So that's a lot. So let me just randomly pick one of the mailings here. All right, so I've just picked one of the, the mail drops in here. I picked mail drop seven just randomly. And first of all, we can scroll in to see whereabouts most of our mail has gone to. So lots of uh, out-of-state owners for this particular mailing because we were mailing to Florida, but we can see there's people everywhere. We can drill down into that, but we can also track every individual mail piece. And this one's got a 98.86% delivery, which I'm sure you'll agree is really high. And that's just due to the, uh, the amount of effort that we put into our data for things too. So what we encourage people to do is uh, on a weekly basis, you can export each of your mail drops do a really quick skip trace on all of this. We've got all the, the data available in, um, in your mailings anyway. And you can see if this was delivered this week, um, for example, we can drop everybody a really quick SMS or voicemail message and say, hey, you got a mail from us this week. It was an offer or a neutral letter. Um, we'd really love to talk to you about your property. So please give us a call back on this number as we'd love to see if you got that letter and if you've got something you'd like to discuss. So mail tracking is really uh, important, as is call tracking. So call tracking, we can drill down to wherever our calls are coming in from. And we can also look at recordings for each of our calls as well. So just while this loads, each of the campaigns, uh, Seth has a call tracking number. And that number has some technology sitting behind it that allows us to trace all of the calls, get all the demographics as to where those calls are coming from, but also export those calls um, uh, to be able to do some more analysis on where things are coming from and, um, and you know, making sure that there's a call plan in place for that as well. So that was mail tracking, um, which you can see is really, really powerful because you can trace every single piece of mail and where it's gone. Just at a high level here, Seth, as well, we can do social match, which is how many of the people we're sending to that we're finding online and putting ads in front of them. Informed delivery is a direct feed through USPS and, uh, and we send them an email to say, hey, you've got a really important piece of mail coming your way. And uh, just over 2,200 people have opened that. So again, it's more interactions. Call tracking, we track and monitor all of our calls, where they're coming from. They're all recorded for compliance. Um, and then obviously how our ads are following people up online. So the dashboard, you can drill down into everything in there, but I won't do that now because um, there's lots more that I could go through. So the things that I've touched on today, and I feel like I can talk for hours about this because there's so much that's involved, but the whole package end to end is all of your data, all of your mailings, all of your online, your tracking of everything. Basically, at the point of when a customer calls you, we do all of that up until then. But your question was like, well, what if I just want to do digital? What if I want to do some ads and brand recognition? We got that covered too. So we basically have two other a la carte packages. I, I like that word that you've used, where we can just do what's called digital only. We've got a couple of customers using this at the moment that they're trying to build up some followership mm -hmm. before they go out and, and blast to their asset class. One of them is doing multifamily and one of them is doing mobile homes. So we're creating a, a custom page, a couple of custom pages for them. We're creating Google ads, Facebook ads. We're also creating SEO optimization for their pages by the use of blogs that are all written for them, mm -hmm. <laughs> backlinks, um, posting on different sites, and, uh, and also doing scraping of, of data for things like LinkedIn and posting in LinkedIn groups for them. So we're, we're organically trying to grow them. 
So we've got a lot of things that we can do digital, even pay-per-click campaigns using keywords and things as well. We've got a digital package we can do. But also we're quite conscious there that there's people in this industry that are just starting out mm -hmm. and maybe they just need help with their data and their mailings and mm -hmm. we can do that too. Yeah. And it's so, not that expensive. Yeah. So, I mean, on that, let's talk price. How much does this stuff cost currently? Yeah. Really good question. So if I take our entire end-to-end -end package, here's the comparison, right? If you had to go out to a marketing company and get your pages built, your content written, eBooks done, videos recorded, all of that, and then get your data and mailings and stuff, you're probably looking at anywhere between, you know, 20 to 50,000, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we it. start. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen a company I used to work for. Uh, we, we spent like 20 grand on a very simple website that didn't even do a whole lot. It wasn't that functional. So it's, it's very easy to burn through a ton of cash on this stuff. Yep. So ours are, are pretty functional and they're written by real estate people for real estate people. Mm -hmm. And we start from as low as um, 80 cents an offer, all inclusive. So that's 80 cents for everything that I've just described done for you. Your website's done, your budget for your ads, um, your, your data, your mailings, everything from as mm -hmm. low as 80 cents an offer, um, which is pretty extraordinary because a lot of people go, yeah, but I can get mailing sent out for 50 cents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for 30 cents extra, you get all of your websites done, all of your online assets. Yeah, and when you say 80 cents an offer, what we're talking about here is the blind offer direct mail approach. So basically every individual piece of mail has an offer on it. I know not everybody does it that way, but so it's essentially 80 cents per piece of mail that's sent out. Is that accurate? With with everything else wrapped Whatever. around it with a pretty bow. Yeah. yeah. And and just on that, we can do blind offers or we can do neutral letters. We've got quite a few customers that use our platform to go and test um, certain mm -hmm. counties. And then when they've got that county um, or areas in that county really well formed, they, they then might switch to blind offers in their next campaign. Our campaigns yeah. run for a minimum three months, by the way, because it's all about retargeting. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, for as little as 80 cents is where we can start or for just the digital only, Mm -hmm. um, digital only, we can start for as low as, I think our first digital only package starts as low as 6,200. Yep. Yep. And, which uh, is pretty reasonable for all of that done for you. It really is. I mean, it's, I know if, if a person knows nothing, nothing really about how this stuff works or what normal prices are, that might sound like a lot, but man, by just when you think about, we're not just talking about like throwing up a website. This is like content creation. This is like logo creation, ads, social media profiles. Like this is very, very time intensive stuff. And I mean, all of that working together, right? Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, I don't even, I don't even know of a company that would do all of those things and make it seamlessly work together. I, I would sort of approach this prior to this conversation as, okay, I got to go five, some, find somebody on Upwork to do this. And I got to go find somebody at Fiverr to make that. And then somehow it's all got to work. And of course it wouldn't. So yeah, that's, um, that's, that's a great value. And yeah. And even with that, uh, 80 cents per offer per piece of mail, like, again, like that might seem like, well, yeah, but I can do it for 50 or 60 and you can, but like, you're not going to get any of that extra stuff, ex extra help and getting all those pieces to work together seamlessly. So that's, and, that's, and that 80 cents, as I said, all your data is paid for, all your data is cleansed, all your mailing is done. It's all beautifully branded. All, all of your mailing links into your websites, which takes people to Facebook, which from Google, they can link in here. So when we say 80 cents an offer, it's the whole customer experience is, is what we put in that offer, not just sending out the mailer. Yeah. And I think that's what people need to recognize in the stuff that we're doing. It's don't compare it to the price of a stamp because for your average person out there, which you're right, if I had to add up for some of our previous customers that did it the old way, if they added up the time that they spent cleansing data, the, the use of a virtual assistant to do all their mail merging, going to Fiverr to get another resource to do, you know, maybe some branding, um, paying for some ads, it would be way above what we're doing and time is money. Yeah. So the, the time that we're saving people is also really valuable. I know like whenever I hear about stuff like this, I always look at this through the lens of myself when I was getting started because I had like very little money, like a few thousand bucks total to work with. I didn't have a lot of room to make mistakes. Like it had to work on my first couple of tries. And when I think of somebody like that, and I know there's plenty of people like that out there, um, 
and then you know propose this idea of spending all this money is there a, t a person who this isn't for like do you think this always makes sense for everybody or is there a type of person who like figure out how to do a few deals, make a little bit of money, and then then look closer into this. So what do you think about that? Yep, really, really good. One thing that I do want to drive home is we do not educate people on how to do this business. We educate people on how to manage a business, but not how to do the deals. So yeah. somebody like you is so super important because they still need to know what they're doing before they get to us. So who it's not for is for people that are still learning the basics and trying to work out this entire real estate investing business. Yeah. But once they've got a few deals under their belt and they're really confident with how to handle deal flow, dealing with customers, um, you know, knowing their target areas, then absolutely from that point on, we can help. And funnily enough, Seth, we, we've actually rejected a few people um, over the last year who were like, I really want to use this. And we're like, you're not ready <laughs> yeah, yeah, because good. it is about setting people up for success. And if they can't deal with the deal flow, um, then we don't want to put them in a position of, of stress. Yeah. Um, and, and we want to set them up to, to be successful. So who it's not for is people that are still learning. Yeah. Who it is for is then for anyone from there on up. And then we've got those three packages, which is the, the ultimate mail tracking, which is all of your data and mail, all tracked so you can see each mail piece and where it's gone, um, and that all sent out for you. The digital only, which is more about brand recognition and building an SEO following and, and organic growth, um, and then the, the total package of everything done for you. We've also got a credit partner in our company, um, so people who struggle with cash flow, because we get that this industry cash flows everything. Uh, we've got a credit partner that can actually fund people's campaigns for as low as 1%. So, um, so that's pretty cool too. So if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more and dive into this, I mean, where do they go? What, what's the next step? They can go and check out the website, which is at superchargedoffers.com, one word. So superchargedoffers.com. Uh, there's a whole bunch of eBooks, downloadable things on there. There's a lot of examples of what is included in, in the packages and, and um, how it all works. They can request a call from there. They can book a, uh, a demo and, and a call with our salesperson. They can give our team a call and our number, Seth, is 888-538-5478. Or they can email me direct. I'm more than happy to take people's questions direct. And that is Alicia, which is A-L-I-C-I-A at superchargedoffers.com and I'll be more than happy to put them in touch with our sales team. Awesome. Was well, there anything else uh, we should discuss? Did we hit all of the all of the main things there? I think we've hit all of the main things. I mean, obviously I'm pretty passionate about this and I'm pretty proud of what we've been able to yeah. produce because, you know, we, we have very much a passion as, as you know, around how do we help people in this business do business better yeah. um, and be more efficient because the more efficient we are, the more deals we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, and that equals success. So, you know, we've got some really fantastic products that we're building and this is one of them and I'm excited about this one. So if anyone's just curious to find out how we can help them leverage their marketing, give us a call. Sounds good. Well, thanks again, Alicia, for your time and explaining this for Thank us. Thank you, and, Seth. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, if anybody out there decides to give them a try, I hope it uh, works out well. I'm sure it will. So Awesome. Thanks so uh, much, Seth. You bet. Thanks. See ya.